Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you could accompany yourself uh, on Ain't Worried About Nothing by French Montana on acoustic guitar. And, and this is a little weird, actually, because we're going to end up capoing on fourth fret. We're kind of taking a lot of keyboard licks, actually, and kind of applying them to the guitar. But you could start out with kind of that intro lick where you got second fret on, on the high E string, second fret on the B string, third fret on the B string, and then we go high E string on the ninth fret. So we got two, two, three, nine, two, two, three, nine. And then that lick kind of gets changed a little bit where we go three on the on the B string, second fret on the B string, and then four on the D string, and then second fret on the high E string. So we got three, two, four, two, three, two, four, two. And as an option, actually, on that last note, instead of playing the second fret on the high E string, you could kind of play open D if you wanted to. So you kind of have D, C sharp, F sharp, D, D, C sharp, F sharp, D, or D, C sharp, F sharp, F sharp, D, C sharp, F sharp, F sharp. And if you want to kind of throw in the basses that kind of come in later on, though, on that very first lick, you kind of do an open D string. So we got open and two together. So and what I'm doing is I'm kind of hybrid picking. So I'm using my pick to kind of play the D string open with that second fret high E string at the same time. And then that two, three, and then ninth fret on the high E string, two and two, two and open, two, three, ninth fret on the high string. And actually there's another option on that that C sharp, but that nine is really hard to kind of jump to. You could go two on the high E string, two on the B, three on the B string, and then kind of go to second fret on the G string could sound really good with the tune too. So you'd have open and two, two, three, two on the G, two and open, two, three, two on the open G. And then if you wanted to, actually on, on the next lick, actually there's kind of an F note that kind of comes in on the bass, where you could play first fret on the low E string with that third fret on the B string, and then second fret on the B string, and then the four, and then the second fret on the high E string if you wanted to. So you'd have one and three, two, four, two, three and one, two, four, two. Or if you wanted to kind of go with that open D note, you have one and three, two, four, oh. One and three, two, four, oh. So kind of some options there. You might want to try those licks kind of finger style. So there's a lot of different ways to kind of approach that intro part. But the, the weird thing here is actually like one, one chord that I think would really kind of back up that very, very beginning intro actually is a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And one way to kind of accompany yourself through the tune actually is just to stay on the D major actually and just kind of uh, pretend that that F note that happens in the bass is kind of an anomaly. <laughs> um, but, but a lot of times with a song like this, I like to add something called a strum pattern. One of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So, so if we just tried that on the D, we got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. through the entire tune actually to kind of accompany yourself but when that F note comes in it almost feels like an F major chord and if you know the F major actually we'll talk about a really easy way to, to kind of play that kind of going for easy play with these videos but if you know the bar F major you do your first finger across the entire first fret second finger on the G string on the second fret third finger on the A string on the third fret and the pinky on the D string on the third fret and if you strum all those together that sounds like an F major bar chord it sounds really really happy but if you're just starting out or you just want to avoid the, the F or the bar chord actually, you can substitute in something called F major 7. When you play F major 7, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the D string on the third fret, and if you kind of strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds like F major 7. It sounds really groovy happy. So, so one other way to kind of accompany yourself with, with the tune is to kind of do two of the D's with the down, down, up, up, down, up, and then two of the F's. So if we tried it that way, we'd have D with the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down.
add to a song to make it more interesting is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, or the down, down, up, up, down, you could throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the D chord, you'd have the D string for your bass, and you could kind of keep your down, up, up, down. So D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down. You know, if you're doing the F major bar, your bass would be on the low E string. So you have F low E bass, down, up, up, down, F low E bass, down, up, up, down. And then on the F major seven, you'd have the D for your bass. So D bass, down. Way to kind of work it is to just stay on that D chord with the D bass all the way through the tune. D bass down, up, up, down, D with the D bass down, up, up, down, D with the D bass down, up, up, down, up. And another way would kind of make that D, D, F, F change. So you have D with the D bass down, up, up, down, D with the D bass down, up, up, down, F with the bass down, up, up, down, F with the bass down, up, up, down, D with the D bass down, up, up, down, D with the D bass down, up, up, down, F with the bass down. though what feels a little bit more like the tune is working off of something called a 16th note strum pattern and what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat right now our down down up up down up is kind of dividing that into two parts one two one two one two and that's called an eighth note what a 16th note is is where you divide that beat into four parts so one two three four one two three four one two three four and one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down 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 up up down down up down up and what I mean by that is if you take the D and do a down for four one two three That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you got down, down, up, one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on, on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So you got down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down actually is that down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down,
So you're going two, two, three, and then going in 13th fret, which is right past the double dot for what was 9th fret. So you got two, two, three, 13, two, two, three, 13, or kind of thinking none, right? And then you have that, that three, two, four, two on the high, three, two, four, two on the high string, or you could kind of use those other notes we were talking about, the two, two, three, two on the G, two, two, three, two on the G, and then the three, two, four, open D, three, two, four, open D. Or you could kind of throw in the bass notes to back those up, kind of that two, two, three, 13, open D with two, two, three, 13 on the high string, and then the one with the three, two, four, two, three, two, four, two. Or you could kind of use those other notes and kind of have the open D with a two, three, two, two on the G, two and open, two, three, two, and then the one and three, two, four, open, three, two, four, open. So a couple of options there to kind of work those keyboard parts. And you really could just stay on the D and just work the down, down, up, up, down, up if you wanted to. So you'd have D down, down, up, up, down. Down up, up, down up, you'd have D with the D bass. Down up, up, down, D with the D bass. Down up, up, down, D with the D bass. Down up, up, down, D with the D bass. Down up, up, down, D with the D bass. Or if you're kind of digging on the 16th pattern, you'd have down, 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 up. Montana. Now the weird part is that it really is kind of a keyboard song so you want to kind of take what works for you actually kind of out of this video and kind of construct your own uh, way of doing it. But that's the basis of how you can play Ain't Worried About Nothing. So good luck!